So this is a difficult one in so many ways. Um, Mr. Kurang, oh, Prof, happens to be my number one lecturer at UTG because it was his first class that I entered in my university journey. And the next one is speaking after a banker is not easy because. <laughs> Yeah, but okay. Um, thank you so much. So, to just say or to stand on the existing protocols, I know we have limited time, so I would just like to go straight on the discussion, democracy, peace, development. Um, in so many instances, uh, we are made to believe that democracy is not Gambian and democracy is not African. Yes, in words, because the name doesn't originate from Africa. If I travel further down just after Birkama, I will observe in every community of village Bantaba what was the purpose of such. In my own community where I grew up, I observed my parents, community leaders, meeting in the village Bantaba called Penj. And I had no idea where they must have been inspired to understand that they need to involve themselves in dialogues, in community engagement, in taking decisions collectively towards the betterment of their livelihood. Moving further, when we talk about democracy, there are principles, there are things that it promises us. In other states, like the state minister mentioned and some of the other speakers, with a democratic system, we have promised that it comes with protection of the minority, protection of life, rule by consent, majority taking the lead in decision making, the rule of law, the separation of powers, giving powers to the people. But above all, democracy is built on the principle of choice and competition. The people must have a choice. And they should not be living in fear to exhibit those choices. And they must have a free and fair ground to compete competing in politics, in the economy, and in their social livelihood. But, there is a but. And that is where the government comes in to serve as a referee, to protect the minority's interest, to make sure that individuals are not exploited, to make sure that there is limitation in the classes that could be established by just allowing the free force of demand and supply to control the daily livelihood. Now, when we look at peace and development, in the Gambia, we are known for our existing peacefulness. It is not a new thing. Gambians everywhere are observed and looked at as very, very peaceful individuals. But the early warning sign of a threat to the existing peace are a daily reality. We see them in our community, we see them in our political parties, we see them in our daily engagements as a nation. And that should send all of us a signal as to where are we heading. Is this the actual promise of the democracy that the Gambia has championed from independence to date? Because this country we should not just look at it as its size. This is one of the countries that champions the democratization process of Africa. When nations in Africa were going for one-party system, dictatorial regime, more rigid ways of governing, the Gambia had already opened its space for competition and choices. It has been hijacked to some extent. And today we believe we've recovered it. We are 
on in a day to celebrate independence. If this was a newly born baby then, then that baby is now six, 58 years. Someone just told me yesterday, I don't know if it was a baby or what, but I think it's getting old. So, we must then pay attention to the fact that we are no longer young as a country. We have to work and establish something concrete for these generations and generations of Gambians to come. Um, on the side of development, yes, is democracy a recipe for development? Yes. Is democracy the only recipe for development? No. Some societies have tried something totally different and yet succeed. But here is the winning point. Democracy has been tested and it works in delivering development. But those developments have equally been contextualized by countries to what fits them. So what fits us? What democracy fits the Gambia and the Gambian people? This should be the basic of our engagement today. In the whole world, the Greece has been recommended as the actual founders of what we today call democracy. One of the recent Greek scholars and most phenomenal of our time, Yanis Varoufakis, in his book, Talking to My Daughter About the Economy, talks about the threat that his own nation that is wholly recognized as the origin and the root of democracy is that a threat because capitalism is eating the existing democracy they have. And we have seen the crisis in 2008, the current conflicts, the injustice globally, the balance of international powers where states like the Gambia and many other developing countries or countries to be specific in the African continent have been denied space, opportunities, the unequal distribution of global resources in the name of democracy because we have been told that with the progress of democracy we have to be globalized states that leads us to being developed and therefore there are existing patterns that we must all take but no development and this is where the difference is in biology development is existing principles yes if this meets this with a period of time the result is this it's concrete already scientifically proven and approved socially development doesn't work like that there is no existing single pattern where one can read, master, and deliver, and get 100% development. No. Countries go through challenges. Countries observe these challenges. They build upon it. And at the end, they register a development that is genuinely theirs. As a country today, that is where our priorities should lie. Yes, indeed, we have good policies. We have good strategic documents. We have a country where there is no shortage of literatures. But what do we do beyond this literature? The books, the papers, the policies don't fit anyone. For a sustainable, for a just country, for us to attain that economic prosperity, there's the need to put all these ideas, the documents, everything into concrete actions that address the daily challenges of the Gambian behind Basset and live in a society where we do not allow individuals whose objective is to maximize profit, exploit our own people in our watch that leads to unequal society, which again would lead to a lot of difficulties. So yes, democracy as a recipe for development and peace. But if misunderstood, the revise happen. Thank you.